All right, so here he is, the UFC featherweight champion, Alexander Volkanovsky. It's a title he always thought he would have. He just needed the opportunity, and you all saw what he did in outclassing the all-time great Max Holloway. Alexander Volkanovsky is the total package. We make a lot about his rugby league career, and at one point, he was a 214-pound athlete who was an absolute marauder, but now it has felt 145 pounds. He truly has every skill befitting a long-reigning champion. This division has a bunch of killers in it, and right now they're all chasing the Volk man, Alexander Volkanovsky. Well, DC, you're not fighting tonight, but I know you're anxious as I am as Conor McGregor returns to the proving ground here tonight. This is the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history and a damn good fighter, too. Let's see what he does here tonight. I have no horse in the race, but the butterflies are kicking my stomach up and down because every time Conor steps into the octagon, it feels like a momentous occasion. Yeah. One of the biggest stars in all of sports, he transcends the sport of mixed martial arts, a guy that has a fantastic left hand. He's very quick. He's a master of, ma of managing distance, managing space, and the speed and the ability, the eyes of Conor McGregor is something that we don't pay enough attention to when we watch him fight. And of course, every time he competes, all eyes are on Conor McGregor, and yet more often than not, he doesn't show up flat on fight night. He rises to the occasion. The Jose Aldo fight certainly mm -hmm. is the one that people will historically talk about, but let's see how it goes in this spot for Conor here tonight. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Volkanovski is 31, McGregor is 32. He is three inches taller. He will have a three inch reach advantage. Now for the introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting! Out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 25 wins, two losses. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Alexander the Great Volkanovski. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 22 wins, six losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Connor McGregor! You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. All right, so lofty expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side and on the other, truly a fighter who can do it. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Nice loop of punch.
Drake lands the right hand. There's no tell on that leg. Oh, that's a big connection there for McGregor, you see. I mean, big strike landed for Ireland's favorite son, Conor McGregor. Good jab. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Volkanovski gets tagged by that stiff jab. Oh, and another leg kick lands flush, and now you're starting to see visible damage on that lead leg of his opponent. Visible damage, and you see him start to make mistakes now. It is defensive because his leg is so beat up. It's red, it's all beat up, he's limping. He's turning away. There are so many things that he is doing wrong now because of the leg damage he has taken. Oh, Volkanovski circling to his right. Head kick lands. Got clip with the right hand. Wow! News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Now goes in and Secures the takedown. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by McGregor. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Under three minutes remain in round one. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Volkanovski. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran, of so many fights that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. I need you to move, scramble. 30 seconds now to go on the round. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by both. Standing over his opponent here and making these strikes count. Beautiful sequence there by Volkanovski. Good work from the top here by Volkanovski. Oh. All right, so let's see how he responds here, DC, after a big, big round for his opponent, courtesy of those leg kicks. I mean, he landed so many leg kicks. It's hard to understand how his opponent is not checking any of them. What is he doing in the octagon that is confusing him so much? But until his opponent answers those questions, it is not on him to change anything. Continue to throw those kicks.
You ready to fight? Ready. Do it, man. Big knee there. Oh! Not there. Big kick lands. Straight right hand now, just misses. Tonight he's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking. And with authority, goes to the judo throw right into side control. He's in side control. He's got a ton of options. a little bit of swelling in and around that left eye now. All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. Well, Alexander Volkanovsky has never lost a pro fight at 145 pounds, and if his boxing is any indication, that is a record that is probably going to hold up after tonight. I mean, Volkanovsky follows the game plan to a T. Whatever you set out in front of him, he is going to do, and he's going to do it at the highest level. We saw that in this fight against Max Holloway when he became the UFC featherweight champion. The ground and pound has been there all night. Well, this is some serious pressure from the top by Volkanovsky. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Volko. Just over two minutes to go. Well, no questioning the output thus far. 88 total strikes have landed for Alexander Volkanovsky. And connecting at a pretty good clip thus far. 66% the accuracy rate against Conor McGregor. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. That strike blocked by Volkanovski. And he comes through with a big knee. Oh, straight right. That one appeared to stun him. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Yeah, it looks a little wobbly on his feet. Oh, and that is a pinpoint left hand right there from McGregor. It is his best strike. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, big left hook there. Oh, that was a really nice takedown. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Thirty seconds to go in the round. Twenty seconds to go, round two. Fifteen seconds. Man, 
this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah. No pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other, agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. Ready to fight? Ready. So he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Right punches there. Volkanovski's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Let's go. We got a scramble here. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Get yourself to the side. Scramble, scramble, scramble. I need you to use that rest control. All right, you're OK. You're OK. Let's focus. Let's focus now. Scramble, scramble, scramble. Relentless pressure from the top by Volkanovski. That is it. And that'll do it. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. We get the official decision from Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 32 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Alexander the Great Bonanowski! Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and Candidly knocking another man out cold. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was sure that he would get it done, and he did exactly that. Congrats.